Jen, do you want to be in my little opening? Uh-oh. Oh, oh shit. Ashley's in the doghouse. I- <laughs> Oh, listener, you will understand why this is happening in just a moment. Perhaps the greatest story ever told on the podcast episode today and a really fun episode with me, Maddie, and Bree. Family episode, just catching up. And then I tell this insane story that has to do with Jen and a certain someone from the Bachelor franchise and how this has affected my life. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um patreon.com slash whes to support this podcast it really really helps so many people work really hard to make this podcast possible um and you can donate as little as a dollar so think to yourself did you laugh is that worth one fucking dollar bottom a month 25 cents an episode you know that it is it's worth it and then i am coming to Salt Lake City, Boston, Miami, Phoenix and Tempe, Columbus, um, Calgary, so many great tour dates. And then I'm coming to Europe. So get on my international email list, my text list, all that good stuff, yada, yada. And thank you for being here. I loved doing this episode and it really invigorated me. And I, I hope you can feel the good energy. If you guys liked it, leave a comment, leave a review, share it with a friend. And I appreciate you so much, Bottom. You give and you give and you give and you give because you're a good Bottom. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Me Undies. I've been wearing Me Undies for a little bit now. I absolutely love them. They are comfortable, they are soft, they are breathable, and They've got something for everybody, everybody from all black classics to fun, expressive prints. Me Undies has a look for everyone. Plus, they come in sizes extra small to 4XL, guaranteeing a flattering cut for everybody. I know I look great in mine, but I will not be showing you that, you, you weirdo. You little weirdo. Get your own Me Undies. Kick off the new year comfier than ever and get 20% off your first order, plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash gay. That's MeUndies.com slash gay for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies, comfort from the outside in. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some weird mind voodoo from your crazy neighbor. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative and award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and it's designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habits. Fume is amazing. The first time that I ever tried it, I was so, so surprised by how good and fresh it tastes. You got to try the new Solano Fume. It's made with a premium walnut barrel and onyx coated mouthpiece that is a slightly softer finish. Right now is the best time to start the good habit with Fume. All orders for the month of January have buy one, get one cores, so you can stock up for that New Year's resolution. Plus, as a listener of the show, you can get an extra 10% off when you use our code. Head to tryfume.com slash gay and use my code gay for an additional 10% off plus BOGO cores until January 31st to help make starting the good habit that much easier. And so if you don't know, I'm in an open relationship. Jen matched with a massive guy from the Bachelor franchise on Hinge. The entire time I'm like, Jen, you have to fuck him. But I was like looking him up on social media and I go, oh, I forgot he doesn't have social media. And Jen goes, he has an Instagram. And then she pulls up his Instagram. This man no. blocked me on social media. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. He Okay, you might have to cut this. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he doesn't. This is a 
family episode because I couldn't get a guest. <laughs> and Maddie is at home because she's not feeling so well. Yeah, I got Aww. a little sniffly sniffly. And Ashley's trying to have a baby or whatever. So, you know, <laughs> you know I feel like it would hurt my standing on the podcast right. if I like stopped you from having a child. So I was like, let's play it safe. And Wait, what? You're Wait, you having- don't know that I'm freezing my eggs? Oh, okay. I, sorry, I took that too literally. I did hear about the egg freezing. I did not hear that it was like going to be used right now to have a baby. So I was like, wait, we fast tracked that- this. That is fair on the on the checklist. You okay? So when you go in, you have to like do these check. You have to sign all these things. Okay, and there are so many different things that they can like do to your fucking eggs. So like you have to be oh. like, if I die, who gets my Over eggs? Easy. The- Goddamn. <laughs> and who does get the eggs, Ashley? <laughs> well, this was really- our patrons. <laughs> <laughs> if you are subscribed to the ten dollar tier, you get one of Ashley's frozen <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Brunch with Ashley. <laughs> um, that is officially a tear. Uh, who wants to buy my eggs? Um, I, you know, I, I God, I should have sh- sold my eggs when I was young. I saw this ad because we're freezing eggs. We're getting ads about it now. And yeah. Instagram was like, are you over five, seven and under 30? You can get a hundred thousand dollars for your egg. And I was like, shit. Pardon? Like, I'm five foot eight. I'm pretty good looking. I went to a good college. Why the <laughs> fuck? Why the fuck did I not sell my goddamn eggs when they were fresh? Um, when they were fresh. Okay. Not the, the farm is, fresh. I turn to Jen and I say, do you want my eggs if I die? And she hesitates. Oh. I know. Ooh. What the fuck is that? Because now her explanation, her explanation was, you know, that's that, that might make me really sad. And I, I how yeah. do I explain that to my next partner that I want to have my dead partner's child? You know, yeah, yada, yada. Yeah. It kind of only makes sense if she was like, I would be a single mother, which I would be like, Jen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rebound. <laughs> what? What Jen, a- you're far too young. Y- you're Come young. On. You're beautiful. You're way too hot for Ashley. This is all kind of working out in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> Jen probably killed you. Like this is like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course she doesn't want the eggs. So I go, okay, that is a huge decision. Do you want yeah. me to give them to my sister while you're deciding? So I have to call up my sister at work nine in the morning and go, hey, if I die, do you want my eggs? And my sister was like, yeah, I, I guess. And so my sister gets them if I die. And then what was the Jen gets them? Was there if a third I, option of just getting rid of them all together? Like, why do you have to give them do, to someone? You do, such- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you be buried with them? <laughs> They're like, unfortunately, you have to give these eggs away. It's going to be super awkward. I would like to be die. a human. I want to be a human, a human blini, and I want you to take my <laughs> eggs and spread them over me like caviar. And Wait, a human ev- what? Blini? blini. Is that what it's called? Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is, and I thought you said human beanie, like a bean bag, and I thought you meant... <laughs> You wanted to be like <laughs> stuffed with them and then Filled buried. With your eggs. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. God, I love, I love, this is so good. I love our um, chemistry together. We have good chemistry, the three of us. We should meet in person someday. That would be so nice. Um, but the third option is donate them to science. That's a oh. third option. But they also have like, then they have like the sperm talk and they ask like, you know, because some people are freezing their embryos. So, yeah. you know, they're getting their eggs fertilized. And then there's an option with that one that was like, do not ever under any circumstances fertilize my eggs. And I was like, who is this for? But like someone write in, who is the person that's freezing their eggs that under no circumstances, I, I, it was the most lesbian thing I'd ever seen. It was like under no circumstances let sperm near these eggs. <laughs> is it? Is it like... If someone was with the intention of getting them fertilized and then died was like, don't let anyone else have my kids kind of thing. I yeah. may, oh, you might be right. Or, or like with science, like in the future, like they don't want their like eggs used to like, I don't know, have start some like little army or something. I don't know. Because it's getting very dystopian. <laughs> so like it I certainly just. Is. And I don't want my kids to have to enlist from day one. You know, like that's not what I'm looking <laughs> 
But you wouldn't feel flattered that they chose your eggs. I was for about the to say, Super Brie, what makes project? you think that they're going with your eggs for the army? Well, I'm really strong. Well, you know what? That's what that ad was. They're like, if you're over five seven. Oh my and- god, a Nazi repopulation. Oh, my god. oh, I wasn't going that far. <laughs> I was saying, like, the American military. Maddie's like, don't put the Nazi joke on me. <laughs> I mean, I figured Jew eggs would be worth more because Jew- <laughs> Jews would pay big money for Jew eggs. But would Nazis pay for Jew eggs? No. Exactly. No. Um, but that's, like, kind of, I figured we'd do, like, a catch-up episode. I don't know if you guys have any questions about my process. Wait, I do have one question. Re-giving them to science, like, you can, if you... Get your eggs scooped and then you die and then they want to give them to science. Could I, with my own eggs, take them out and go straight to science? Um, like, could I be like harvest my eggs and send them and do whatever you want with them? Yeah, I bet there I'm is doing a- like a you know that you know that um you know that imperfect foods subscription service. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> the moldy <laughs> potato like- shows up, but it's like half off. Yeah, they're like, the squash was shaped weird and people were scared of it, so you can have it for $2. That's what I'm going to do with my eggs. I'm going to be like, no one was really buying what we were selling, but if you could use this for something, have it at a discounted rate. Bro, that's a bit. Please write that bit. That is so funny. What's What about you guys? Brie, your film is doing this. Uh, we're not in the apartment. We're having gay sex. Okay, it's Bree and Maddie. You should know them by now. If you don't know them, we do this every fucking week, okay? And it's really (laughs) good. And it's won awards, and JoJo Siwa was on it. So just stay (laughs) here and check out some other episodes. Okay, Mm. Bree, how's your film? Bree just released a film on YouTube, Maddie. And Um, it's good. And and it's doing quite well. It's up to almost 500,000 now, probably, right? God damn. Yes. I feel like it keeps popping up on my homepage. Oh, and I'm sorry that I haven't. And you're like, and I don't click it. it. <laughs> no, and I'm sorry that I haven't watched and it. And I make the no. click through rate lower and lower every time. I don't know why they keep Not showing interested. it to me. <laughs> no, if it makes you feel any better, my like YouTube history is like a clear indication of like mental illness and specific things that it's all like Vogue diary of a model, and it's like what? Oh. Like it's all me. This is a longer story. I'm sorry. I don't mean to derail, but that is just to say that I'm not going on YouTube for like good Happy reasons. Times. So yeah. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> you know what? I get that because it is a romantic comedy. So not everyone's into that. Like I wanted to make it really cringy and comfy and like that whole vibe. Um, but it seems to be doing really well. People seem to like the happiness over the holidays, which was really cool. And um, I'm really happy with how it's doing. I feel like, Ash, I think you related to this with your special going up. It's so weird because, you know, we work so hard on these things and then you put it out and we're so reliant on the numbers. Like we're so reliant on people clicking. Yeah. Um, and it makes you feel it doesn't, like. Yeah. It's not a good look. Like no. you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard not. for people to understand because you've given them this gift of mm-hmm. like this piece of art and that's what they're right. watching and enjoying. And then yeah. you're like, but um, all of it is just a number and I don't really care if you like it. I just need it to go up. And it, it, it's such a bad, it's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. It's bad. Well, I think it's like a combo of both, if I'm being honest. Like, I would love to say I don't care about the numbers at all. But I think, like, reasonably... Um, you know, you spend a lot of money on it and you want people to see it and you're putting it out there for free. So you're like, can you just fucking watch it, please? <laughs> um, like how like, you know, it's really chill. Just watch it. But um, <laughs> but at the same time, like, honestly, for me, I have never been like a super big numbers girly. Like, I don't even know how the analytics page works. So I just want to see that people are people Ignorance are watching. Is bliss. Yes, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I'm with Ignorance you on that. is bliss. But I just, I just wanted some people to watch. I just wanted people to watch in general, and then seeing the comments like of people enjoying it, that meant a lot to me. So like, I am so like, if it didn't get another view, I'm so content and happy with it because um, that was the big thing for me. I think I'm I, the comments hit me way harder than the numbers do, and everyone seemed really stoked on it. Um, and yeah, so that was like a huge goal of mine. And also the other thing is, is like, I worked on it for like two years. 
So I think yeah. it would be like non-human of me to say that I didn't hope people watched it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So it was nerve wracking, but I think the launch went really well. I think people enjoyed it. Yeah. I think and it's doing yeah, numerically really, really well. And, there's, and they're still enjoying it. Yeah. I watched it today on the train, dude. I was laughing <laughs> on the train. It's so hard to make a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it um, was really hard. Yeah. Did, did I learned the, a lot. At the beginning in the speed dating scene, did did the host of the speed dating actually eat a real egg? <laughs> That's a great question. No. <laughs> They're actually vegan. No. They're actually vegan. So they were like, well, I don't think we, we wouldn't have made them eat an egg anyways. Because like, you imagine well, being the person on set that you're like, you're going to have to eat like 10 raw eggs today to get the shot. Like, it's method acting. And it's Brie, if you had cast me in that role, <laughs> um, I would have eaten the egg. Do, for me? Even though you don't yeah. eat eggs? I eat what eggs. What if we use your eggs? <laughs> eat my own eggs. I become stronger. I have I the power I... of five, eight women, however many eggs I get. But that's a loophole of veganism. Like, you can just eat your own, right? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you... Yeah, Ashley already like, did like, the plasma-rich injection. Isn't that kind of what <laughs> eating your own eggs would be anyway? Maybe it would help your hip if you yeah. ate your children. <laughs> oh, my God. Help your hip. Um, well, I'm very proud of you, Brie, and it's great. Thank you. Are you going to bring it to New York? You're doing all these screenings. You went to freaking Worcester, yeah. Massachusetts. Did what? I? <laughs> so <clears throat> what the fuck my... was that? <laughs> First of all, I can't say Mas Massachusetts. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Massachusetts. And if That's you right. live in in Massachusetts, I will be in Boston at the Wilbur <laughs> and it is about to sell out. So go get those freaking tickets. Okay. Yeah, my big thing is I really wanted it to be like I had a dream of it screening in some of the last standing lesbian bars because I'm a lesbian and it's like a, you know, sapphic rom-com, so I just thought it'd be really cute. So I just reached out to a lot of the last standing lesbian bars and we got the opportunity to screen it there. And it was just like really wholesome and cute. Like it honestly, it it like cured a piece of my inner child. I don't know what was going on there, but it was like really emotional for me. Like, like being able to see people enjoying it in person in sapphic spaces was really fucking cool. Did the cubby um, hole not get back to you? Do you need me to put the word in? I... <laughs> Did they not get wait? I just directly, I just directly out some sapphic spaces for not getting back to me. No, I don't know. I I think part of it, some people didn't get back, and some people, um, it just timing wise didn't work out. Um, but yeah, we ended up screening in like six different locations, and it was really fun. And yeah, I'd love to come to New York, and maybe we can do something together. But right now, you can watch it for free on YouTube. So if you're looking to watch something for fun, grab a snack. It's up for free on YouTube on my channel, Brianna. Lindsay. Can I tell you something poisonous about my brain? Please do. I feel that you might not be screening it in New York specifically to avoid me. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you went to Massachusetts. You, I can't even get through the joke because I can't say the fucking place. You went to Massachusetts. Thank you. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, um, are you are you holding on to a joke right now? Oh no, I just I was just agreeing with you. That's probably what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I then I didn't echoing your. I also want to. I want to just to return to earlier. I'm sorry. This has been echoing in my head that I feel bad that I haven't watched it. I pulled up my YouTube search history. <laughs> not, not even search history, my YouTube watch history. Because I need We're you to know. We're all so fucking neurotic. <laughs> Maddie's yeah, literally, like literally going yeah, I was like, Ashley, that's fucking crazy. But anyway, listen to this. So <laughs> just to show you that I'm like clearly, uh -huh. like I'm not going on YouTube and like watching like mm. movies. It's, it's 10 videos in a row of Vogue Diary of a Model, which is just me trying to like clockwork orange myself into like <laughs> inducing anorexia. And then <laughs> we have... <laughs> I'm like, give me the other eating disorder. Yeah. And then <laughs> I have chiropractic cracking back videos for sciatica. Ooh, and then important. I have three more important. videos of ballerina, like day in the life of a ballerina. That's just the same thing as the what model thing. What are you doing? And then I have, I took my duck ice skating. Maddie, are you okay? I'm doing better than ever. And then... <laughs> And then I have speed runs of the hardest levels of Super Monkey Ball. So 
I hope I'm glad that- we got another Super Monkey Ball 2 reference in there. It's been a minute since we have Super Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> Thank you. It's really what I bring to the and podcast. And this is also a but- great way to merge the cultures between the Maddie episodes and the Brie episodes. Like, Brie, you need to know that Maddie has OCD um, mm. and loves their rabbit and loves Super Monkey Ball 2. That those are important things. Making and notes. Maddie, you need to know that Brie will cut me down to size at any moment. Just absolutely sweep my legs um, and bring me down in really powerful ways. <laughs> <laughs> is that your field bio? Is that what you're looking for? Like, I don't understand yeah, what that was. That is. I will absolutely just take you down at any moment. I don't know. It must be that I've talked about this before. It must be the Canadian thing. I think Americans are just soft. I think they think that they're really tough. I think they're soft because Canadians are just constantly just hacking at each other. Get my gun. (laughs) No, I like the roasting. I like the roasting. Okay. Okay. Um, Manny, can we see Wilbur and Yoshi? Such a mess right now. I might be able to pick up Yoshi. Give me one sec. So Maddie, um, and by the way, rabbitinfo.finance uh, to uh, just our, is our website for Maddie's rabbit Wilbur. Um, he doesn't look like he wants to be picked up. They're not having it. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> I could like get down on the floor with them, but it's like a mess in here. Next remote episode we do, I will have that up and going. Okay. But the room is under construction right now. Maddie, do you want my blackout curtains still? Oh, totally. Thank you. The amount of my furniture. Oh, that yeah, that's my, that's my dresser. <laughs> literally. Okay, literally this dresser changed the room. And then I'm also Ashley's old mattress and Ashley's entire sheets. Like a full. Sorry, my nose is running. I was like, uh, did she give you the toilet paper? <laughs> What's the, this is the show and tell. My entire sheets. You pull out a roll of toilet paper. I'm like, okay, we need to upgrade. <laughs> I sleep in a, si- a sheet of single fl- ply toilet paper and a and a thimble, like a little mouse. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you for for my single ply toilet paper. My payment for doing this. Patreon.com/slash/whgs for more toilet paper. Maybe uh, double ply toilet paper. Oh I get paid in alms. <laughs> I don't know what country alms are a currency of. I think it's just like poor people coins. <laughs> it's like alms for the poor. It doesn't matter where you live. You yeah. get poor enough, you get alms. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it might I think it might mean like donation. If you make if you make less than like five thousand dollars a year, it's like <laughs> you have to convert it to You're alms. You're at alm level. What tax bracket are you in? Alm. Um <laughs> Do you have any updates for the people, Maddie? You're 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 on tour. You you've been touring. So. I am Cincinnati, February seventeenth. Come see me. I'm doing two shows. Um, I'm working on my hour, and I'm gearing up, not in the near near future, but to taping it. And I'm really happy with it. I think it's coming along really well. I think I'm getting better, and uh, I'm having a good time with it. Those hour long sets, like man, they really make you a better comedian, don't they? Just doing it's insane. hour and after the, hour. Like, the switching of like short ones in the city and long ones on the road is like so fun. My big update, I will need advice actually. Oh, oh. I don't know if this is sleep deprivation or a good idea. I want to get the Ramona Flowers haircut so bad. Do you know Ramona Flowers? No, but I'll Google it. Oh my God, Maddie, don't get this haircut. <laughs> What if I got it a little bit longer? What if it was more like shoulder length and then long in the front? No, don't get that haircut. But I think it would be so cute. I mean, obviously live your life. Do you do whatever you need to do? I guarantee you. I guarantee you the comment section. Here's why you shouldn't do it. Because the comment section is going to be like, Maddie, do it. You're going to look so good. And anything the comment section tells you to do is a bad idea. Okay, but I wouldn't be dyeing it. Okay, you just be cutting it. What I want to do is bangs and a little longer, like a bob maybe, and then just a little bit longer in the front. Okay, let me rephrase the question. What if I got a shoulder length shaggy bob? What would you think Yeah, I love that. Okay. I love that. Because right now my hair is so long and I like it, but I feel like a shoulder length shaggy bob would be a little more 
androgynous. Like it can be, you okay. can, it can be femi or it can be kind of like, yeah. it's a little more like Mick Jagger, 70s. I don't know why he's the only person I can think of, but do you know what I mean? Like that haircut that's like, yeah. I like I like the front piece of your hair, how long that is. If you had it all that long, yeah, that's that's really kind of what I'm saying. Is like and then this. just kind of okay. shagged out. Yeah, I don't yeah. mind a shaggy bob, but that's not what I'm seeing when I Google Ramona Flowers. <laughs> well, Ramona Flowers is just it would be a little longer than that. Ugh. She's just so cool. Wait, okay. <laughs> find a good... I also, okay, I also, Ashley, you're gonna hate this, and I, ugh, I think I might need to stand my ground. I want to get. Okay, so we got like bangs and these longer pieces, but then on the I inside, so I want to be like, you're like, how am I going to tell Ashley this? Oh, <laughs> she's going to hate it. No, it's literally like I'm like telling my mom that I want to get like a nose ring. It's like <laughs> I, <laughs> I want to get like two like long like strips of blue. Yes, yes. I love colored hair. I like any colored hair. I don't mind that. Thank you. Really? Okay. I'm just like, okay. not. Anything that closely resembles a mullet, I'm not a fan of. Oh, I love a mullet. I love a mullet. I like a mullet on other people. I think a mullet would look really bad on me, and it's not what I'm trying to do. But Ramona okay. Flowers is not a mullet. Wait, it's almost Ashley, like a I'm, reverse mullet. Ashley, I'm texting you. I'm texting you a picture right now. Wait, can you hear this? Yes. What is going on with your phone? Why does it sound like it's detecting radiation in your apartment? <laughs> 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 okay, so something happened. I don't have a case on my phone, and uh, <laughs> and, f- and so the camera. Like, I don't have shattered. a case on my phone. I do have a tumor on my body. <laughs> <laughs> the, the glass on the camera broke, and now it's been like months now, and it's just like a little blurry. But now when it tries to focus, it literally is like <laughs> like that was the camera <laughs> trying to focus because it shattered. It's and, built like, the- in for Gen Z photography, just like the added blur. It's just ready at all times. <laughs> I think it looks, look it up on like, cause the, the, uh, it's kind of sort of the actress who actually played Ramona F- Flowers. I don't think she rocks it the best. Look up just other people rocking the Ramona Flowers. Okay. It, it looks pretty good. Check it out. If you okay, search like okay. Ramona Flowers haircut. Look up just, yeah, Ramona Flowers haircut. I need haircut. to look this okay. up. Okay. Okay. You'll see some cool looking stuff. All right. Okay. Wait, like here's, oh, you're right, Alex. Ugh. Some of these are not okay, but yeah. some of them oh. are okay. The only thing is you don't, it, it could no. easily be done poorly and look like a Karen haircut. Yeah. 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 No. I liked your other route with like the more 70s like shag. Okay. But do you think going to shoulder length versus where it is now, which is like yeah. bottom of my back, do you think shoulder length, like this length would look yeah, of course. Yes. good? That okay. would look so good, that length of hair on you. I support it- any and all haircuts. In and fact, I will I, not tell you that they're awful until yeah. it's time for you to get your next haircut. Oh, <laughs> at which point I will give you the advice. I'm going to go for the old that if that's the case, then I'm going to get that like old fryer haircut. That's like <laughs> it's like a bowl cut with the top missing. Bro, I had that at one point. <laughs> wait, wait, Maddie. What? Oh, not the shaved back sorry never mind that's extreme. <laughs> but, you, you, <laughs> but i support this for can alex can you take a, a lot off the top please <laughs> um just the top leave the rest <laughs> the no maddie i support your haircut thank you maddie um, i don't know you in person and to me you already have this length hair so i think that says something oh thank you no it's fully like all the way to like also my waist. Maddie and listeners, I don't want you to um, mistake my, you know, I have a really strong um, opinion. Like as a host, I'm like, my job is to have like super strong opinions and like make strong statements. But like, of course I support my friend and whatever haircut she wants to get. Thank of you. all things to worry about people getting mad at you for. Yeah, that's your. <laughs> Bree! <laughs> Bree! I agree with Bree. Uh, this was the time Ash took a moment. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Bree? Oh, nothing. You'll see it in no, post. I, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Listener, are you listening to our Patreon exclusive, You're Having Gay Sex? Well, here's a sneak peek of what you missed last week. You wanted to date us both. I didn't want a relationship with him and was only using him for sex. Honest. So I just tell him to date my friend E. So he does. 
They only dated after she got back from her two-week vacation away because she wanted to hook up with someone where she was going. And she told G and me that we could have sex while she was gone. As uh, if everyone needs to be milked every five hours. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> Do you need the yeah. holdover? Can you chill for, what was it, two yeah, weeks? Give him a milking. Give him a milking. <laughs> there are four bonus episodes a month of this series, You're Having Gay Sex, on our Patreon at the $10 tier and then two at the $5 tier. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Listener, brand new year, brand new you. Start with the most intimate part of your body, your undies. You got to get a pair of me undies. Okay, focus on you. You just got a bunch of gifts for other people. Focus on you. I love my me undies. I've been wearing them a little while now. First of all, the comfort unmatched. The signature fabric is a soft, warm hug from your favorite sweater, but less itchy. It's breathable, stretchy, and oh so comfy, making it ideal for all day wear. And and let me put that emphasis on breathable. Okay, I feel so fresh down there. You wouldn't believe it. I'm not going to describe it much further, but just take it from me. The the stuff makes you feel nice at the end of the day. And if you're not happy with your first pair of undies, don't worry about it. It's on me undies. My favorite part, they use sustainably sourced materials and work with partners that care for their workers. Kick off the new year comfier than ever and get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at meundies.com slash gay. That's MeUndies.com slash gay for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies, comfort from the outside in. Can I tell you my Wait, Brie, you're a Bachelor girly, right? You like The Bachelor? Oh, yeah. I watched The Golden Wedding last night live. I haven't watched it yet. Oh. I assume it goes well. It's but gorgeous. I'm a big Bachelor fan and I have a massive bachelor related story that I have just been sitting on because I wanted Brie to be here, but I also was like, who is the perfect guest for this? Because I don't want this to get fucked up. And then I was like, family episode, Maddie will be here. Nothing will get fucked up. This story will be perfect. Absolutely. Maddie will be here is the perfect. I will just be, I don't know anything (laughs) about the bachelor. I truly, you, the golden wedding sounds like a Game of Thrones massacre to me. Like I, that's like when Joffrey. Like I don't. <laughs> well, I'm really be, going gold, in blind. The Golden here. Bachelor is actually for everybody. I actually think it's a great way to start watching The Bachelor because it's so wholesome. Start and stop there. Honestly, yeah, it's like, so good. Oh, oh, people make me want to cry. They're so sad. And, oh like, yeah, you're gonna exactly. love it. And you're gonna. Be Do you know the weeping. old man who does like covers of songs on YouTube? Yes. You certainly Oh my do. God, he's so cute. Which old man? He did like a cover of Mitski. He did a cover of like, <laughs> I'll follow you into the dark. And he's just sitting there with like his 480p laptop camera and his little acoustic <laughs> guitar. This is what Maddie watches, but they won't watch my film. Like this is this is what's happening. Are you kidding? Sorry, me? I, do. I do. I feel you, Brie. People people don't want to watch art. They wanna they want to watch shit. They want to rot their brains. Anyway, and I don't my- have TikTok, so YouTube is my t- like. Yeah, I'm. Right. This is my <laughs> endless scroll. Maddie's doubling so, down. I spend all of my time on YouTube. <laughs> I don't go on any other social media platforms and there's never anything to watch. Whereas art lovers like me and Brie, we watch The Bachelor because we appreciate art. Mm. No, like here's how it. Okay, I'm still on my YouTube history now. First person heart surgery from skin incision to heart arrest. Like I'm watching... I watched oh like God. a like heart surgery. Like I'm saying, it's not. It's not like I'm like I yeah. watch all. I don't know if I'm helping my case, but I'm trying to. <laughs> it would be offensive to throw your art in with what I'm watching on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tough call. I mean, they're both feel good content. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> one of these just says an old man's advice. Like I'm going through it on my YouTube should, search history. Should, we just, should I just not tell my story and we can just no, go I'm through sorry, the rest I'm sorry, of it? No, sorry. it's really funny. I'm not I even. I need to hear this bachelor story. Okay. So Jen matched with a big. Uh, and so if you don't know, oh I'm in an God. open relationship. Jen matched yeah. with a massive guy from the Bra- Bachelor franchise on Hinge. Oh. Okay. 
I am not allowed to say who it is. She's going to get really mad at me if I do. But I will now allow Bree the time to guess who this guy is. And Alex will really good guess. But Alex will be bleeping out all of these names. That's an incredible guess. Okay. Really good guess. That's almost about as close as you could have gotten. No, no. Okay. Was it Jeff H? It was. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't have to believe that one. It was not Jeff H. I don't oh even my know. God. Who. Okay. Is I there a Jeff H on the show? I can already picture who it is because I feel like I, I have to have the awareness that Jen would have looked for the match. Right. What do you mean? Like on Hinge? I've never been on Hinge. Do you have to like both mutually want to match to match? Yes. So it's got to yes, be someone Yes, but like, you can look through who them. liked you and oh. you can see like who liked you and then be like, yeah, I'll match with them. Yes, you can do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess. <laughs> is, I'm looking for this guy. For the name. people listening at home, Brie is deep in her phone. Okay. Deep. It's not Colton Underwood. Jen's lo- lost him long ago. We don't have to bleep that one. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> oh my God. Is it? Here, Maddie, we need to make a face, too. Oh, my God. That is the correct <laughs> answer. That is the correct. Yes. How did I get that on, like, the fourth fucking guess? That's... <laughs> and to be fair for to be fair for Brie, there are 8,000 men in the Bachelor franchise. So. Yes. But I was um, working off the energy. And then I yes. thought, okay, who is who is kind of similar vibey? Yeah. Oh, this but guy like, looks so boring. Single. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, Maddie, they you could say that about any of them and you'd be correct. It's They're all like boring. It's like such a financy Yeah. Sorry, I was looking him up. I don't know if you need to cut my screen. I don't think there's any like reflection or anything. But <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Maddie, you're so paranoid. It's just so crazy. In the mirror. <laughs> It's oh like, such, <laughs> like a like a fucking poltergeist. This guy's face <laughs> appears. This guy's face just appears behind Fatty. I don't want to out Jen. Oh my god, this guy so, looks so oh. boring. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's so boring. Yeah, they're all boring. They're going back. Oh my god. Oh, oh, we might have to cut that, but that is so true. That is so true. Okay. Yeah. Wait, oh, he literally my... looks like like he is the face of a man who has yes. never like picked anything up. Whose entire personality is <laughs> Okay, that has to be cut. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So I'm just trying to get you in hot water here. Guys, the ending of this story, you're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose it. Okay. So basically, I suggest a line and as in, they're going back and forth on Hinge, yeah, you know, it's like not getting to the place. So Jen wants to say something. Jen doesn't know what to say. So she's going okay. to her straight friends. I suggest a line. Okay. Here's the thing. I'm pretty good with women. With mm-hmm. men, I really have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Right. But I am very confident that my game is strong and I never will be confident again. because. Okay. Um, wait, Jen, when I suggested the line for you, did it fail or you decided not to use my line and you went with your straight friends' lines? You went with your straight friends' lines. No, I think that was the right decision. Okay. My line was like for a woman. My line was like, I'm going to spread you open and rail you. Yeah, you're edging us here. What the fuck is the line? I I don't remember. I think it might have had to do with (laughs) his identity. So, but anyway... They, Your line they was, f- I'm going to spread you open and rail you. <laughs> I'm just being silly. I was like, what's That's a line what works? for a woman? That's You're I- like, hey, girl, are you the trolley problem? Because there's <laughs> five people in your pussy I'm going to kill right now. That's what that sounds like. Spread you open and rail you. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's good. I guess, and I sincerely say that to women, and it works really well. Um, but. Uh, I so they finally go on this date and and I have never like this is how you know I'm in an open relationship because the entire time I'm like Jen you have to fuck him like you yeah. must like 
you set yeah. all your feel like just fuck the shit out of this guy. Like yes. I need to know everything. I need to know everything. Right. And they go on a date and it goes well. They like hook up, but they don't have sex. And I'm like, you have to have sex with this man. Like you must. And on wow. the date, no pressure at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And she seemed like pretty. I was just outside the restaurant, like looking through the window. <laughs> Fuck him. I'm Fuck probably, him. Yeah, I'm probably, I probably am at this. I mean, like, I was so excited about this. I, I, I really was more excited for her to fuck this guy than I've ever been to fuck anybody. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. I was, oh my God, I was just over the moon. I was just like, I can't believe this is going to happen. I'm so right. excited about this. And she's open with him. She tells him on the date that she is bisexual and that she is in an open relationship. Okay. Because we are good people with integrity. So okay. um, that's just putting that out there. Mm -hmm. um, and that they have the date. It goes well. They set up a second date. And then things fizzle. Uh -huh. And, it, you know, like we were like both a little bit surprised about that. And uh, months later, I'm talking to Jen about about that. And we were like, huh, I wonder what sort of happened there. And she was like, yeah, I don't really know. Um, you know, it, it was a busy time for her. She was about to go to L.A. I'm not really sure what happened. But I was like looking him up on social media and I go, oh, I forgot. He doesn't have social media. And Jen goes, what? And I go, yeah, he like deleted his social media. She goes, I don't think that he deleted his social media. And I was like, yeah, oh he did. Because I like tried to look him up like a while no. ago when you guys were talking. No. And it, he didn't have an Instagram. And she goes, he has an Instagram. And then she pulls up his Instagram. This man. Uh, no. Blocked me on social media. <laughs> the guy blocked me on social media was it because what? he knew that you were jen's girlfriend or because he was just like who i don't like the clips isn't this a lesbian that told someone to kill herself <laughs> <laughs> the only straight man that gives a fuck about that <laughs> literally we found one <laughs> Um, <laughs> when they say I, not all men, they mean this guy. <laughs> so I presume that he went stalking, found me, maybe watched my stories, similar to something that happened to me, and then maybe didn't want me to see that I saw that my this is my theory that he didn't want me to see because why would he block me? That's such an insane move unless he was like deeply in love with Jen. And like lost it, which is another. Those are the two theories that I have. This is we need to ask him directly. Listeners, right? We need to bring we, him on the pod. Excuse need, me, sir. We need the answers. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not joking. This is this is similar to um, like this is one of the biggest mysteries. This is Madeline McCann level. Like I need to understand <laughs> what Wait, what is happened that? here. Uh, uh, Madeline McCann is a. a very beautiful white five-year-old that was kidnapped that the world was obsessed with. Oh no. I just described yeah. a five-year-old as beautiful and I'm not sure I <laughs> fully, but you, you know what I mean? Like, like a poster child. It's for a like, very famous, like kidnapping slash murder case that, that yeah. I hate to use. infamous is the better word. Infamous. Yes. Jean Benet Ramsey like style, like perfect little looking blonde. Like she kid. was one of those like toddlers and tiaras kids. Yeah, not actually yeah. on the show. But I, like that I'm sounding one. dismissive of this child's kidnapping and death. No, it was I, terrible. I, it was. I made awful. a joke, and now we're we're too deep in, and now I feel like a real <laughs> yeah, fucking sorry, asshole. I like asked for the Wikipedia. It was awful. Page. It was horrendous, <laughs> and yet, you know, it also ex the press around it exposes so many horrible things about our society and the people that we mm. care less about when they are kidnapped. Okay, it's one of those so, stories that when you get to the gates of heaven, you know, when they say like what questions would you ask? Like if you need the answers right away, like that would be top 10. Like I need to just know. Really? Who did it. That would be top 10. No, top number <laughs> one is why did this guy bl block me on? Yeah, number on... One is... <laughs> so I think, I think that he looked at my story and didn't want me to see that he looked, but the hole in that. Theory... Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I just realized this entire time I've been talking, we've been talking about two different children. Who are you thinking about? I was thinking John Benet Ramsey. 
Well, Madeline McCann is basically Jean Renee Ramsey. They are they are the same. They are the, there it's the two same. children killed, and now somehow I have brought them both up. I'm so sorry. Carry on. You have been blocked. <laughs> oh God. Jesus. I've now also been blocked by the McCann family and the oh, Benet Ramsey family. Oh my God. Family, I was, yeah, I was confusing them. Okay. Um, but the problem with the blocking, the theory with the blocking. Okay. Okay. I have a lot of followers. He has a fuck ton of followers. He should know better. I'm not going to scroll through and see his name on my viewed stories. You know, like yeah. that would take hours. Wait, did Jen look if, uh, and I don't know if we have to cut this, if it'll make it too easy to find who we're talking about, but does he follow any other comedians? Oh, oh that is a really good point. Uh, Jen. <laughs> we need some cross reference. We need some help. <laughs> yeah, because Ash, that's a good point. I think we can cross that off the list of potentials that he was worried about Ash seeing the story. Because if someone knows that people with a lot of followers knows that people don't look through that. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you the guy the um the bachelor guy that you went on the dates with? Does he does he <laughs> Hi honey. Um does he does he uh follow other comedians? I don't know. Why aren't you keeping up with this? We need an Excel spreadsheet You didn't on this. fuck him. You don't know whether or not I'm sorry. I know you're really failing me right now. Wait, I can just look this oh, hold up, hold up. Well, why would that matter, Maddie? Because he if, follows Bree. Can you imagine we're all I'm blocked? Like, <laughs> he blocked the podcast. <laughs> oh my god! That and by so the way, crazy. I'm not mad about this. I feel very flattered. Oh, I forgot what his fucking handle is. Okay, I don't think we have any. Like, I don't think he follows anyone that I. Oh my god, this guy! Oh Jesus god, Christ. this guy! It's painful to look at. This is just like. Oh my god. Oh my god. He Okay, you might have to cut this. What? No, he No, doesn't. he doesn't. No, he There doesn't. is a clip there's a video <laughs> on his grid. <laughs> oh no. Don't don't include Bro, that. Bro, what? <laughs> okay, I've got to say is there something kind of embarrassing? There's something to be said about like being on a dating app post having the option to like marry <laughs> 20 women and then like none of them work out. And, and then now you're that on everyone's a dating got to know who it is, even though we haven't said it, he did really fuck that up. Um, like, how are you the bachelor? And then you, then you are on hinge. Like what's going on? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I mean, get on BIP at least you can do a couple <laughs> seasons of that. Um, <laughs> And then fuck Boy Island if you want. Like, you can just keep going. Milf Manor. Um, oh my God. But Ooh. I still think it has to do with, like, the relationship thing. It has to be. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some weird mind voodoo from your crazy neighbor. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative and award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and it's designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habits. Fume is amazing. The first time that I ever tried it, I was so, so surprised by how good and fresh it tastes. You gotta try the new Solano Fume. It's made with a premium walnut barrel and onyx coated mouthpiece that is a slightly softer finish. Right now is the best time to start the good habit with Fume. All orders for the month of January have buy one get one cores so you can stock up for that New Year's resolution. Plus, as a listener of the show, you can get an extra 10% off when you use our code. Head to tryfume.com slash gay and use my code gay for an additional 10% off plus BOGO cores until January 31st to help make starting the good habit that much easier. 
Okay, I have something to add to this that I might I, I relate a little bit because I unveiled a mystery recently of why someone had blocked me. They are a sapphic um singer, artist, and I went to Fletcher their Instagram blocked you. And they, they had had Renee me Rap blocked you. No. <laughs> Girl in red blocked you. I can we could do this until we find her. I there's I'm like not six saying of them. It. I'm not King saying King Princess it. blocked you. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to um, Kalani blocked you oh my god no I'd be devastated my life would be over I'm not joking my life would actually be over Haley Kyoko blocked you no okay so it was Fletcher keep going <laughs> so someone blocked me that actually makes sense I went to their page and I was like what the fuck similar to you I was like oh they deleted their social media to one of my friends and they're like no they didn't <laughs> I like how we're both so delusional that we're like our immediate is like they've cleared themselves from the internet before they no, could potentially because, get like, rid of me no I actually don't think it's delusional at all I think it's the opposite it's like what I am nobody why would they ever why, block yeah, me that's true so I went and I was like what the fuck's going on come to find out the reason they had blocked me, like I found this out like literally a long time after, is because they were the mistress in one of my very close friends' relationships. Yes, so, we all know. Yeah, a duh, Brie. So yeah. they blocked me so that I didn't see anything. They like blocked the the circle. As if yeah. these people aren't public figures and things are going to get out anyway. I know. It was crazy. It was so Ooh, crazy. And then it got out and it was this whole thing. Anyways, so I found out Dude, why they poor, blocked me. Poor Maddie is like, what is, I don't understand anything that's happened. <laughs> no, I was. I meant it. It's lesbian draw. It's like they were friends with, you know what I mean? Like straight guys are not like thinking that far ahead. And also no. they're not like, there's not so much friend circle overlap. Is there any drama that we could talk about like Doug Stanhope that maybe like someone <laughs> in his circle blocked you? If Doug Stanhope blocked me, I'd myself <laughs> he's my father <laughs> don't ever fucking don't no, tell uh, blocks you again would end my life i don't uh i yeah i don't know i've tried to stay drama free i have my little <laughs> photography instagram account that's my most like blockable <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> well, you know why? That is why I started a separate art thing because one time I got a lot of followers and then I started posting other art and I lost a lot of followers. So I was like, that mm. can stay separate. Nobody wants it. So there's like 500 people who follow my little photography account and I like that nobody follows it. Yeah. But that's my, I was like, that needs to stay off the main grid because everyone's like, what is, this is weird. I want to follow it. Oh, thanks. I'll send it to you. Okay. I want to follow it too. Okay. Yeah, me too, Maddie. <laughs> Wait, Alex, I'm sorry. Are you living on a kibbutz? What is that? <laughs> what? Alex looks like an Orthodox wife right now. <laughs> yeah, man. For the listener at home, Alex is wearing, what do you call those? I just say babushka hat. That'll do it. <laughs> um, Alex is wearing. No, it's really cute. I'm really sorry. Some kind no, of. I just fine. you were you were grainy on my thing, and then you came into focus, and I had to like process. You it. really actually do look like a Jewish grandma. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah! Wow, that's what we're going for. Um. So thank you for sharing that, Bree. Did you ever get unblocked? No, I'm still blocked. Wow. But I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's because the. The situation's long over, like a year over. So I think that, I, like, why would this person go back and, like, unblock me? Like, I just think it's, like, not a thing any for them. They just don't, they're not going to think about it. But it does hurt because I do feel like I was not involved in a situation and I, I got, you know, I got the blocking because of it. Well, know. maybe, maybe he blocked me. Who knows? I say we leave the mystery to the wind. No, oh, I have to I know. I must know. I just don't understand. Like, did he think that he was going to be posting Jen on social media on the second date? Like, why did he feel the need to, like, make sure you didn't have eyes on on Jen? Like, also, that she make said it was either. an open relationship, although maybe he didn't, you know, like there's so much stigma with open relationships. Maybe yeah. he didn't really understand that this was truly open. And I was so stoked for her to have sex with him, like truly so right. happy. <laughs> 
So maybe that's maybe, why he blocked you. He saw you outside the restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah I should have clarified. I was <laughs> sending him message, message after message, going, "Please stick it in my girlfriend. Please, please, please. I'm so excited for you to fuck the shit out of my girlfriend. Here's my oh, line. Gosh. I'm gonna spread you open and rail you from behind. It works really well. Do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Ashley being like, please fuck my girlfriend. And I'm like, oh, she's stimming. (laughs) 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 Oh, fuck. This is a really good episode. Maddie, are you coming anywhere near Vancouver? I'm coming to Canada for not work. Is Canada? Wait, you're gonna say Vancouver? Toronto, aren't you? <laughs> it's not I anywhere think it's near Toronto. Vancouver. Okay, v- Vancouver is West Coast. Yeah, yeah, like the Damn. farthest West Coast. No, I'm going. I'm going East Coast Canada. I'm going skiing. Oh, um, in a couple of weeks. I haven't been skiing. I've been skiing once in my life, years ago. Where are you going? Somewhere outside of Toronto, I think. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you could possibly be laughing at this when you said Mattatusits like three seconds ago, Brie. <laughs> I know. I still Montreal. can't say it. I'm going to try again. I am learning French again. Wait, that's an update for me. I am learning French on Duolingo because, you know what? Honestly, this does tie back because I was watching those Vogue Diary of a Model videos yeah. and so many of them like speak French and I'm speaking French because it makes me feel pretty. I love that. It's just is a pretty language. It is a really it's so pretty impractical. Language. Yeah, like I literally like don't need it. Like it's so stupid. But I love being like le France, le France, le fromage in my pussy. I love the idea of you going to Canada. Which yes, it's a bilingual country, but people only speak French in Quebec. But you going to like Toronto and just speaking French, <laughs> being like I practice my French. <laughs> no one's gonna speak French. <laughs> I like Toronto. I like that city. It was cool. I mean, no, I've never been like to Canada. The most one of the best cities I've ever been to. But I, I did enjoy my time in, in Toronto as well. It's super cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've got to come to Vancouver, or close to Vancouver, because I want to see you do stand up. You're so funny. Oh, thanks. That'd be so cool. I really I really want to. I have a lot of friends who are from Canada. Bri, are you willing to admit to the world what I learned about you? What did you learn? I'm willing to admit anything. That you're doing stand up now? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, let's go, dude. Okay, I'm kind of sort of doing it. Wait, how has it been? That rocks. I feel like the Canadian stand-up scene, so many good comics come out of Canada. Yeah, there's some really funny comics here. Um, I feel like I've been doing it. I'm like a closet stand-up comedian right now because I want to- Oh my God, you're like the opposite of me. (laughs) You're openly gay, but you're doing stand-up in the closet. Yes, exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Um, yeah, I've just been like trying to show up to shows that are like local and no one knows who I am or that I'm going to be there and just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks because I feel like because I'm a Nepo baby of Ash, I never like got that process because, um, Ash just put me in front of a sold out crowd. I do. I remember that video and then it like went really well, right? Yeah, it went super well. She did great. Yeah, so that was my first time ever. Like, I'd never even done an open mic or anything. So I'm like, I I missed a few steps, I feel. So I went to, to, like, some local friends that do comedy and was like, hey, if you ever have a spot or if you're hosting an open mic, like, I'll come through. Um, So I've just been doing that. And it's been really, really fun. And, um, yeah, I'm hoping in 2024, one of my little vision board goals is doing more stand-up. So I don't know in what capacity but i'm really enjoying it so i think you're gonna be so good at it dude that's sick and then one day you'll get so good that um that bachelor guy will block you on instagram (laughs) (laughs) that's my goal i'm gonna put that on my vision board blocked by (laughs) and then just a picture (laughs) his face oh my god you know know my vision would be if jordan peterson blocked me on instagram i would know i had made it (laughs) and he like talks about like his grandma like his dream about his grandma having Okay, anyways. He's, Did you guys hear his this? daughter eats only beef. Like he's in, you said what? He he has this like dream. He talks about there was this clip, viral clip that he went on this, I think he was on a podcast or something, and he was talking about this dream uh, where he was like stroking his grandma's bush or something. Yeah, I've it's heard this. Very strange. Why would he admit to that publicly? Like everyone has weird dreams. 
don't say that outside of therapy. He, you he gets fucking very, weirdo. Like, yeah, he gets very thorough with it, too. And he's just a weirdo. So it makes it even weirder. Like anyone else told me that I would think it was kind of funny. But because it's him, I'm like, <laughs> ew, you're disgusting. Get away from me. Well, yeah, because like if you present that information, you have to be like, hey, um, am I OK? Because I had this crazy <laughs> dream. Like if you have a sense of humor about it. But if you're like. Yeah. Uh, very sincere about your yeah. bush stroking well, gr- yeah. grandma <laughs> joke, you know, like you, that. That's the red flag is how you react to it. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine he thinks it's some like allegory for like, yeah, like the softest, the softness of the matriarchal line or something. Like hundred, he's a lunatic. He's absolutely nuts. He's so fucking nuts. We should have him on the podcast. When Ash said, I'm going to text him, I thought, you have his fucking number? (laughs) Like, you're texting with... We're in the apartment. We're in the apartment. We're having a sex with Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, did you have a sex this week? Yes. (laughs) That would be huge. That that podcast would do very well. I would have literally... My sex this week was going into a medically induced coma in Russia to go on opioid withdrawal. (laughs) That's a really good Jordan Peterson. Thank you. I would I would literally have anyone on this podcast. Like <laughs> eh, eh, because <laughs> because any that's like interesting. <laughs> Just you like we're I mean? scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Yo, well know who we should get? The uh the guy who got fired for filming a gay sex porno in the in the Congress room. Yeah, I would do that guy. Whoa, I didn't even hear that. That's crazy. Yeah, right, that's not I, on I that was a thing. That's not on open heart surgery YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you get George Santos? I would that love would to have awesome. George Santos. He was on Z-Way. He's making the rounds. I think he would. That dude is hungry for I think, any bro, eyes. That would be so yeah. fucking funny. Let's reach out. I just don't know how I would handle it because my approach to everything with interviewing is like... Trying to act like you like the person? Yeah. Like, I... <laughs> I and I do like the people we book is the, is the issue. Like I like everybody. Yeah. And even if I don't have like the best chemistry or like, I'm always looking to make the person feel really comfortable so that mm-hmm. I can get a really great story. And with George Santos, I'm not just like, I don't want people to think that like, because I'm trying to make him feel comfortable as a guest that I'm like, yeah, we don't want him to feel comfortable, pal, you know, but yeah. I don't know that you can make it. If, if Z way can't make that guy feel uncomfortable. Yeah, no one can make that guy feel uncomfortable. Except maybe his I mother. I didn't know he was gay. I know, <laughs> I so, didn't either. First of all, I had never heard him speak. And then I watched the Z-Way thing and I was like, oh, are we not talking about how this man's clearly gay? And then I Googled him and it was like, <laughs> first openly gay senator. And I was That's like, That's oh. exactly, that is exactly <laughs> my thought process, process on it too, Maddie. I was like, holy shit, this guy is gay. And then everyone was like, yes. <laughs> He I is, think that's fact. kind of like why he's so infamous is because people are like, how can you be gay and also like suck this hard? You know, <laughs> but that is the complexity of man. It is. Yeah, man. True. Look how far we've come. We have an <laughs> evil Republican congressman who is gay. We made it. <laughs> well, he's not in Congress <laughs> anymore, is he? Not anymore. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wasn't he also like, I really don't know anything about him. Wasn't he like lying about a million things? And he yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a I'm Jewish lie. and Mexican and I've been to the moon and I can do a backflip. Like it was just like random shit. He is, he is a actually, drag queen. Yeah, he did drag, but <laughs> oh, he, like, he was that drag guy. Performers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. He's like a weirdo. It's Aren't hard to be all? Republican. Yeah. Well, this was a really good episode and I don't know how we're going to edit it. But I do think I do think I'm going to that Jen is going to be mad at me and the mm. public will thank me for um, putting this out there. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you guys want to plug? February 17th, Cincinnati at Maddie T. Wiener on Instagram. It's in my link tree. Come hang out. I'm going to be headlining two shows. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I'm on the ash train. I'm trying to get my text list up for. When I one day come to your city, so please click the link in my bio. I bring and go so. watch that um, doesn't work aging with the out. bottoms. You gotta yell, "Piece of shit!" Yeah, you you really <laughs> have to scream at them. Have to or they bully them do into it. Do it, do it, Brie. Do it. Come on, Brie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen, you motherfuckers. If okay, you this is kind of hot. The link. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your voice is too. You have a great yeah, that, voice. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I just. I just aroused Ash, so I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to pull it back. (laughs) (laughs) Go click the link in my bio.
join the text list, watch Aging Out, and um, oh yeah, and then I'm gonna start posting on YouTube again. Yay! At Brian Williams. Uh, yay! And uh, you know, AshleyEvan.com. Get on my text alert for when I come to your city. Uh, Salt Lake City, Boston, Calgary. Oh my God, Bree, do you want to open for me in Calgary? Yeah. Will you be ready? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know now. <laughs> I think I am. When is it? You're not, but by because of who you are, you will be. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's literally no way you could possibly be ready. There's just <laughs> no way. Like comedians work for like seven years to like get an opportunity like that. No, I know. That's um, why I say I'm a Nepo baby. You should do it. Reach out. <laughs> My people will talk to your people. <laughs> Columbus. Phoenix, Miami, blah, blah, blah. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Alex, make that sound faster. <laughs> okay. Thanks for listening. Patreon.com slash WHGS to support this podcast. Give us a dollar. Give us a dollar. Give us a dollar. <laughs> Give a dollar. <laughs> Your top's hungry. Give her a dollar. Uh... Yeah, Boston and Salt Lake City and all kinds of places. I'll text you when I come to your city, AshleyGavin.com. Gay thought. You know, you do 200 of these gay thoughts and you start to run out of gay thoughts, you know? Yeah. You could tell a street joke. I have a gay street joke. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> 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 yes, let the, let's let the cis straight boy tell his gay street joke for the gay thought. I'm actually, it's not my gay street I'm very, joke. Oh, yeah, come on over. No, you wrote it. You were telling me you came up with a great new street joke and you're spreading it around. No, no, no. You said, what did you say? I'm spreading it like AIDS in the 80s. Is that what you said? I'm going to spread this gay (laughs) joke like AIDS. Okay. No. A gay couple is on vacation, (laughs) flying on a plane. They're going somewhere lovely, a gay male couple. And uh, one of the the two guys, he gets really horny mid-flight. Okay. He says to his partner... Hey, I'm pretty horny. Do you want to get it on right now? And he says, no, I don't want to get it on right now. We're in a plane full of people. Someone's going to notice and freak out. And the other guy says, no, no one's going to notice or care. Watch. And he gets up. He stands up and he yells out as loud as he can. Does anyone here have a pencil? And no one responds. He says, see, um, so the, the partner says, well, all right, that's a, that's a fair point. I see what you're saying. So they get it on. They have sex right then and there on the plane. Fast forward to the end of the flight. Uh, as the stewardess is checking the chairs, she finds the guy behind the couple uh, puking and shivering and obviously sick from something that he caught on the flight. And the stewardess walks up to him and says, oh, my God, are you OK? What? Why didn't you ask for help or anything during the flight? He says, ask for help. The guy in front of me asked for a pencil and he got fucked in the ass. <laughs> That's great. That's really <laughs> that setup was so long, <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. 